Okay, now we're going to do uh, show some problems from 11-1 plus 11-4 worksheet. And we're going to start here with number 14. It's going to ask us to figure out the volume of this figure. First thing I want to kind of realize is what is this guy? It is a triangular prism, not a pyramid. So we don't have to divide by three. You do need to recognize what is the base because the formula for any prison is the base area times the height. So you got to know what is correctly the base. It is not this rectangle on the bottom because there is no matching rectangle up above. What is the base is this triangle. And our, in the description, I already said it's a triangle base, but you need to realize that this is, those are the two bases. So you have to have two bases that are both congruent and parallel, which would make this number 16 going front to back is actually the height. So it's kind of like this prism tilted over on its side. So we have a base of a triangle. Well, the formula for a triangle is one half base times height in the two dimensional world. So we've got to figure out, and this is the height in the three dimensional world. So if I just look at this one triangle here, this is 12, this is 15 because it matches this side like here, there's the 90 degrees. We need to figure out what this X is, the height. So before we don't just take the first two numbers you see and go with that, you've got to do a little A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And real quickly, this will end up being uh, square root of 81, which is nine. So the actual height of the triangle is nine. So now to figure out the area, the base area of this two dimensional triangle is, is one half 12 times height of nine, which is uh, 54. Okay, so the volume, the base area is 54. The three dimensional height is the 16 right here, front to back. And then when we multiply those two numbers, it will be 864 inches cube. All right, know what you're looking at. This is not a pyramid. It is not a rectangle base. It is a triangle base, this being the three dimensional height. So you figure out the area of each part, the base first. Okay, we're moving on to number 15 here. We have a triangular prism. Okay, again, it's not a pyramid, even though it looks like, oh, there's a triangle, so that must mean it's a pyramid. No, this thing is a triangular prism. Um, the bases, and there are two of them that are both congruent and equal, they are these triangles. There's one here, and there's one here. This nine is actually the height of the prism. The volume formula for any type of prism is the base area times the height. Now you gotta know what is the base. Is it a circle? Is it a rectangle? In this case, it is these triangles. So we gotta figure out the area of each of these triangles, which by the way, three, three, three is an equal lateral triangle. So I'm gonna focus in on the base area. I'm gonna enlarge that triangle here. This is three. Uh, area of any triangle is one half base times height. So we do have a base of three here, but we're gonna need this height coming straight down. I'll call that X. This is 1.5, half of three, this is 1.5. And I just wanna focus in on this right triangle here. And I'm gonna do A squared, B squared, C squared to figure out what the height, this height coming down that middle right there, what would that be? So we're gonna say 1.5 squared plus x squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is three squared. This happens to be, uh, I'm just saving a little bit of time here. This is gonna be about 2.6 when we're all done. 1.5 squared and three times three is nine and subtracted and all that stuff. So the base of this triangle is three. The height we just figured out is 2.6, the area, of this triangle, one of these triangles, is about 3.9, okay? So when we go to the volume now, if this one little area here is 3.9, you're gonna put that as the base area, and you're gonna multiply it by the height of nine. And when you do that, 3.9 times nine is about 35.1 feet cubed. So again, each one 
of these triangles here is about 3.9 and it's like cutting a cake here there's nine of these 3.9s getting cut there and the grand total is 35.1 for the volume okay now we're going to go to number 17 here and here's the original drawing it's really sad looking but we're going to try to figure out the volume of this particular figure and the first thing you got to kind of figure out is what the heck am I looking at? This is a composite. One part should be easy on the right. This is simply a basic rectangle cube here with dimensions of 6, 11, and 12. And we can figure out the base area multiplied by the height. On the right, we have a cylinder on its side, but it's only half a cylinder. Okay, and so if we figure out the volume of a cylinder, we'll just divide that in half add the two components together and that would be the volume of the original guy. Let me do the guy on the right here. This one's easier. This is just a basic box here. So this is the base area, whatever that is, and then multiply it by the height. Um, the base area for this particular figure is this rectangle here. And so we would simply go, uh, the base is 11 times six and that would give me uh, 66. And then we multiply it by this height of 12. And that when we're all said and done here, this is going to be 792. Okay. The cylinder. Well, the volume of any cylinder is the base is a circle. So it's pi r squared. And then we're going to multiply it by the three dimensional height. Now, of course, the key here is what is r, the radius. We've got to figure out how far it is from here to here. Well, if you look back at the original picture, it is 15 to go from here to here. It's 11 of it is here to here. So the leftover 15 minus 11, this is four. So this would be the radius of four. So that will be radius number. The height is going front to back here. It's this number here, which is this number here, which is this number here, six. So that will be the height. All right. So the volume is gonna be pi radius four squared times the front to back height of six. Now again, this is like a can of Coke that fell on its side, and it's really not even a can of Coke. I'll just go four times four times six times pi. That's about 301.6. It's not a complete can of Coke because it's really half a can. So I've got to divide by two because it's half. And then once I divide by two, the volume of half of it will be about 150.8. We're gonna add it with this 790, and the entire thing of the whole composite is 942.8, okay? But again, look at back at the original figure. You are looking at a cube, break it down to base area times height, and you are looking at a half a cylinder, figure out the area, the height, and then just be patient with your calculations, piece, piece it all together, and then you have the overall volume.